Hi, welcome to Melissa's Money Mindset. Now, if you've been following my YouTube journey since the very beginning, then you probably are well aware that I've been selling on Merch On Demand, previously Merch by Amazon, since 2017. And since I've started, I have sold millions of dollars worth of product, which I have largely attributed to using my favorite research tool, Merch Informer. Now, you all know how passionate I am about research, so I will have a few links to my YouTube videos up here. Make sure that you watch those. You can follow along with me as I do the research and as I upload all of my designs to the Merch On Demand platform. So make sure that you check those out. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Merch Informer Studio, which is the other side of Merch Informer. And here you can create your very own designs. You can can download the PNG files and then you can upload them to any e-commerce platform. Now here I want you to think bigger. We're thinking about scaling our business. So you can upload them to not only March on Demand, but also Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, TeePublic, literally any other platform where you think that these items will sell. Now this is beneficial to experienced sellers like me who are focusing on scaling their business or maybe just people that are starting out. So if you don't wanna pay for Photoshop, you don't wanna learn Photoshop, or you wanna keep everything in-house, those are all good reasons to check out the Merch Informer Studio. And if you're already paying for a Merch Informer subscription, the Merch Informer Studio is included in your subscription. Now, if you're not a Merch Informer customer, I highly encourage you to check out their software. You can use my code MMM20 to get 20% off your Merch Informer subscription. Again, that code is MMM20 to get 20% off your Merch Informer subscription. I also highly encourage you to check out their free three-day trial. Now, before we head over to the Merch Informer Studio, if you could please do me a huge favor and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss another money-making tip. Let's get right into it. Okay, so if you've never gone to Merch Informer before, you can just go to merchinformer.com or you can Google Merch Informer and it should be the top link. Then you'll be brought to this page and all you have to do is click log in. Now, once you're inside of Merch Informer itself, this is what things are going to look like. And to get over to the Merch Informer studio, I'm just gonna click on this button in the upper right hand corner. Now we're gonna create a new project. So we're gonna call it the horrors and then make sure it's in the correct dimension. So 4,500 by 5,400. Also, Amazon will just resize your designs for you, but if you specifically want to make a design, let's say you wanna make one specifically for a pop socket or for an iPhone case or a tote bag or throw pillow, you can definitely do that here. Now, I heard that Amazon just released tumblers, so just like to-go coffee mugs, basically. And I know the Merch Informer team is working on adding those down here as well. All right, so create project. Okay, perfect. So now let me find the picture that we're gonna base our design off of. Okay, so this is the image and it just killed me this week. Literally the story of a business owner's life. The horrors persist, but so do I. Literally the story of my life hilarious. I had to send this to basically every person I knew this week. And the funniest part about this is that back in the day when I was actually in nursing school, and if you are a nurse or if you've been through any kind of bachelor's degree, secondary bachelor's degree, and you have worked long clinical hours alongside going to school and working a full-time job, then you know that um, it's difficult. So my mom had sent me, my mom had sent me actually this exact little guinea pig hamster rodent back in the day with these same heart sunglasses on and it said can't see the haters with my love glasses on yep this was the image this was the image that my mom had sent me can't see the haters when i've got my love glasses on anyway so it brought back crazy memories good memories with my mom and then it also just made me crack up because truly story of my life working in real estate owning multiple businesses everything is just usually on fire, but we handle it, right? That's part of owning a business. So before we get into that, let me walk you through the studio here. So here's all the projects. You can just create a new project. You can see your project library, all these things. Here's where we can download the design. So we'll do that later. Here, if you're having any issues, you can go to the Merge Informer blog, you can go to Merge Informer Research, or you can watch some walkthrough tutorials. Now, the other thing that I like here is that you can actually join the Studio Facebook group, or you can submit a help ticket to the Merge Informer team. So I like that they make this all very accessible, even inside of the studio itself. These buttons over on the side here, so you can free draw. I rarely free draw just because of, I'm using a mouse, so that's hard to do. 
Here you can select some design elements, just some shapes. Here you can add text, so we'll definitely be doing that. Here is a file library. So you can see that they have Pixabay images that are free for commercial use. They have Unsplash. And then if you do have the pro version of Merch Informer, then I believe they release 100 new graphics each month that you'll have access to right here. And I believe currently their catalog is over 5,000 images. So that's incredible. And then here they just have some clip art. So if you want to use any of these things, you totally can. And then down here are just some other options. So these are some grid lines. If you want to add some grid lines, you can do that to line things up. And then here you can add kind of like a textured background if you're interested in doing that. But to start out with, let's find whatever image we want to use on the shirt. So let's click on file library. And I usually go to Pixabay just because I feel like that has the most options. Now, as you can see, there's tons and tons and tons of images in here. I had previously found one. So give me just a second and I will see if I can find that again. All right. So basically I'm looking for a chick and the chick that I saw had the cutest. It was like a little sweater or a scarf or something, which was perfect for going into fall. So let's look for that. OK, here it is. How cute is this little chick? Like, you can't tell me this does not melt your heart. All right, let's position our little chick. Over here. Now we're going to add some text. So I'm going to click on this text box here. I'm going to click add heading. And then I want to add, basically, I want to add text like all along the side of the chick here. So I want to say the horrors persist, but so do I basically all along the side. So let's work on that. OK, so this is the general idea. Now we need to find some much cuter text. So you can go up here to the top and you can toggle this down and there are tons and tons and tons of different text options. And then some of them give you the option to make it bold or to semi bold or italicize them. And then also here you can change like the line height. So none of these are multiple lines. I just created individual lines. But if this was all written together, you could adjust the line height between the text or adjust the font size. You can adjust if things are caps or if they're lowercase. You can underline, you can change the orientation or the alignment of the text. So I'm going to just go through here and try out some different fonts and see which one I like. All right, so I like this text, Ambery Garden. So I'm just going to change all the other ones to Ambery Garden. OK, and now we can line everything up. Now, I just want to keep this design pretty simple, so I am totally happy with this. Let's just preview it and see how it's going to look on the actual T-shirt. So we can click on preview down here. How stinking cute is this? OK, so I'm totally happy with that. I know it's not a very in-depth design, but I actually think that this is going to sell pretty well. And I did do some research and there's not that many competitors, so I think we'll be perfect here. Basically, now all we have to do is just download the design. So we click download, download current design. So then all you have to do is literally just drag and drop this into your merch on demand create page and you are good to go. So now I can just select the colors and the pricing that I want and then head down to fill out the title description and all the bullet points. So that was it. That was my entire process. Now, I know that video was much shorter than usual. That design just happened to not be very complicated. But of course, you can create really intricate designs in the Merge Informer Studio. Now, if you feel comfortable sharing, I would love to see what designs you've created down below. Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how your e-commerce journey is going. As always, feel free to follow me on my social channels right here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.